Ready? You rolling? Yep. All right. So I've got my bobbins here on the Lazy Kate, and I'm going to take the two ends, and I am going to pretty much attach them to the leader of a fresh bobbin here, and I'm just making a knot. Nothing complicated or special or... And I'm going to hold these two in my hands like that. And now I'm going to spin the spinning wheel counterclockwise to apply both of them together. And this is when I actually end up going up. I have some hay in there that I definitely want to take out because that is going to be very scratchy for the baby. So throughout this whole process, as I see little imperfections that I don't want to remain, I've been taking them out, little seconds or any hay or any little mats that didn't get fully combed out with the hand combs. I have the yarn. It's plied together. Look at it on the bobbin. I think it looks amazing. And I am winding it into this ball so that I can use it and check the gauge. Now, when you're finishing hand spun yarn, especially when you're using Angora or other types of exotic fibers, you can do a bunch of different processes with the yarn. One of them is called fulling. And what fulling does is it kind of just spreads the fibers and gives it a little halo effect and kind of felts the yarn in the process. It really does give a wonderful effect. For this project, I'm not gonna do that. I don't want it to be felted. I want it to just be light and airy. I don't want it to be tight and uh, kind of thicker. And I just want it to be as naturally done as possible. So just taking it off the bobbin right now and proceeding to making the hat is just going to give it that really special handmade quality.